Hey guys, I have a new coloring book um, to go over today. I bought this book at Amazon. It is called The Four Seasons, a coloring book by Akayo uh, Fukawa. I hope I said that right. Um, it's a very, very pretty book. I saw it when I was um, browsing around looking for new stuff on Amazon. And it's very reminiscent of like a Juliana Basford type book. The papers are very, very similar. Um, pretty good cardstock weight. It is double sided. I have not colored in it yet, except for one little test scribble. But it's pretty thick, but I, I'm thinking that your alcohol inks will still bleed through. <clears throat> and this goes through, of course, the four seasons, and then we start with the spring. And it's lovely. The, the intricate deca details are really, really beautiful. Um, she did a really, really good job on this. It should be a lot of fun coloring this one. I love the tree. This will probably be where I start. And this little creature is in like, a lot of her a lot of these pages. This is beautiful too. This is one a type of page that I would like I use um, typically to test different mediums and different products to see if they'll go through and, and whatnot. So I'll have different random colors and mediums on there. And then like for every season she's got a, um, an alphabet made out of you know foliage and flowers and birds and things. Really, really pretty. Birthday cake. Summer. These are very different flowers. I like those. And then we got like an underwater um, seashells and fish and all. This is really cute. This is like a little town. Very adorable. Oh, the guy. And I guess this, this is a girlfriend and little outfit. It's very cute. Ice creams. I'm guessing that's <coughs> lemon and mint. Lemonade, cactus. Here's another alphabet. I think those must be olives. Pineapples, fruit. Autumn. And here we go with all the, the leaves. This is a beautiful spread. This is going to be beautiful when this is colored. A little squirrel. My favorite, the mushroom page. I love this. I think this is why I bought the book. I collect these Parchiska dolls and I have a ton of them now. And when I saw this, I said I have to color this have to. It's going to take a while, but I am going to finish that. Very, very cute little inside scene. These roses are beautiful. Just really stunning. Her, the entire book is just gorgeous. All the acorns. And here we go with winter. Christmas tree. Christmas cookies. Snowflakes, tea set, sewing stuff. I mm, have no idea why that's all together like that. <coughs> Yarn. This is kind of unique. It says, unlike other pages, this particular page uses thin translucent vellum. So we can see everything underneath it, right? After you color both papers, lay the translucent page down on top of the other, and together they become a beautiful work um, that differs from the two pages individually. So you color the vellum, and then you color this page, and then when you put it on top, I guess all the colors will mix and match, and it'll be completely different, and it'll look really pretty different, kind of unique. I've never seen that in a, um, 
coloring book before. And here we have some more Christmas scenes. And then it just says at the end, Four Seasons. And they got a little bit about the artists. And just some more information on the publisher. And that's it. It is by St. Martin's Griffin. Printed in China. Again, Four Seasons of Coloring Book by Akayo Okawa. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or you need me to um, go a little slower, if you want a particular page to look at, just let me know and like and subscribe at the bottom, please. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.